Okay, so let me go ahead and start the live session again. Um, again, so this is the Facebook Live Q&A session for Seba University, and I'm pretty much here to answer any questions that you may have about the school and the island in general. And um, again, hopefully I can clarify the answers to a few questions that you guys may have. So introducing myself again, my name is Ranjit Nair. I am the, I am originally from California and I've lived in California most of my life and I attended the University of California, Riverside. Um, and that is exactly where that I did pretty much all of my uh, neuroscience like education. So I graduated from the University of California the University of California, Riverside, but I started my first two years there as a psychology major and I kind of transitioned into neuroscience when I pretty much found out that I may have wanted to go into the medical field or at least learn more about the biological aspects of the brain rather than, I guess, stick with, um, stick with behavior. Okay, so I know that the, the audio is working at this point. I think it was the, the earphones that helped out. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and reiterate a few of the things that I previously mentioned. I realized that many of you weren't able to hear me then. So again, like I'll go ahead and start talking a little bit about myself and what I did before I came here. So um, again, I finished university from the University of California, Riverside, and I decided to go ahead and volunteer a little in a hospital setting. And I also scribed for some time. So if many of you guys are late in the process of going into medical school, that's okay because most of us were actually there. Um, yeah, most of us were there before we came here. So let me go ahead and take some time to answer some commonly asked questions that were given to me uh, by the admissions team. If there's any questions that anyone has at any point in time, go ahead and stop me. Go ahead and ask me for clarifications, and I'd be more than happy to uh, talk to you a little bit about anything else, okay? So I, the first question that I wanted to answer is, what were the key factors in my decision to attend SEBA, and did I already know people who had attended? So looking wasn't very difficult for me. Um, my brother started to attend the university when I was still trying to figure where I wanted to go personally. and so and so so he's actually a fifth semester right now and i'm a fourth semester right so i decided to kind of jump in especially because i kind of had somewhat of a um i had someone here who could kind of teach me the ropes who could um kind of tell me like how to do things i guess initially it wasn't very difficult to figure out but he really did help me out a lot um and the way that he personally figured out that he should have come here was through his own research he decided that Seba University was pretty affordable considering any medical school period. And he, I assume he heard it about the, I assume he heard the university or about the university from his professor. Not entirely sure about that. But otherwise, I personally thought that for me, it was the right choice to attend because the university had a good set of rotation programs that um, I felt was pretty interesting. And again, they had reasonable tuition for a medical school in general. So. The classes were small enough for individual student faculty attention, and that was, again, very important for me because I didn't realize, um, and I mentioned this before, I didn't know whether or not my studying habits or abilities were on par with that of a medical school student, for example. So it was really important to me that there were small class sizes and I could have close interactions with my professors, okay? So I already talked a little bit about this, but let me go ahead and tell you again about my Pretty, uh, a little bit about the island in general and my favorite place to eat on Seba. Um, I have to say that my favorite place to eat would probably be Long Haul. They have really amazing pizza. And right after I finish exams, my friends and I usually go there. And yeah, we pretty much have a good time. Um, but then again, there are also several other great restaurants. There's the Bottom Bean, um, maybe a few minutes from the school. And Paul over there makes really great food. Um, it pretty much tastes home cooked. Um, next question is, what is island life like in general? Can you describe it? What is your favorite outdoor activity? So, um, so Seba offers a lot of outdoor activities, including diving, hiking, um, like hiking down a set of steps that lead to the ocean called the ladder. 
or hiking up Mount Scenery, which is the highest point in the Netherlands. Um, otherwise, I don't think life here is much different compared to the lives of other medical school students. Um, it's essentially study, 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 right? As it should be. That's the reason why you're here. That's the reason why you want to go to medical school to learn as much as you can. Um, and overall, the island is it's very safe. I've never experienced any issue personally at all. And I walk back home from the library around 11 p.m., 11.30 p.m. most nights. I always felt like I could leave my laptop in the middle of the street for a week and no one would touch it. But again, that's just my experience here. And obviously, I absolutely don't suggest you leave your laptop in the middle of the street. Okay, so, okay. So what does your daily schedule look like? Can you share a bit about your classes? Okay, so, so the daily schedule is usually 8 to 5 p.m. on a regular day, but it usually varies depending on what semester, on, on what semester you're in, I guess. So on very, very rare days and very, very like rare occasions, I guess, like during the first semester, all the lessons or several lessons were finished before 12 o'clock. Now on occasion, so they're completed at 3, um, sometimes 4, and mostly 5 p.m. now that I'm in the fourth semester. So during the first two semesters, uh, there's a focus on the basic sciences, such as microbiology, biochemistry, genetics, histology, anatomy, etc. And then starting third semester, you focus in on specific uh, organ systems and everything about it. For example, this semester, um, we've gone through endocrinology, cardiology, pulmonology, and in each of the organ systems, you have to consider the pharmacology, anatomy, physiology, and pathologies involved. So you start learning about three, like you start learning about one organ system um, from several, several different perspectives to give you a better understanding of the information that's given to you. Um, but I, I assume most people who are listening right now are interested in the first semester because that's what you'll be going into, right? So going back to the first semester, which, um, yeah, so going back to the first semester, it's, it, it gave me a really good view into what medical school is all about, um, especially anatomy lab, let's just say, for example. So you do anatomy lab in your first semester. You're put into really small groups and you start dissecting and you start learning about the human body on actual cadavers. And all of your anatomy professors are retired surgeons. So they're really the best at teaching the information that you, you have to learn for step and for the rest of your life, pretty much. And like, in my opinion, the, prof the anatomy professors, for example, are some of the, the most intelligent and um, just greatest people that you'll ever meet on this island or anywhere else. Okay, so, and, you know, I think, I think that's personally, to me, that's why this university does a pretty good job of preparing you for step one. And one of the biggest things is they teach you how to have a pretty good amount of stamina because you're in class for so long. And then you, as soon as, you know, class is finished, it's, you have to start studying, right? And this goes on pretty much all day until the evening. A normal schedule for me is probably going to class from 8 to 5 and then going to the library until about 11, 11.30. Obviously, this isn't every single day, but to keep up with the material and really understand what's happening, that's pretty much what I do. But again, everyone studies differently, and I think you're going to be able to find your own way through when you get here. Okay, so, um, okay, so how does it feel to be in medical school? Okay, so in the beginning, you can't help but feel slightly overwhelmed being here, which is totally normal, of course. But at the same time, you just feel a great, you just feel so great that you're finally starting the first stage of your career. And I, I guess, like, again, that's an amazing feeling and it never really goes away. But you really have to focus on the fact that you need to cling on and learn most of the information you learn and not forget it. You know, remember in college, you were able to kind of um, memorize the in, uh, information that you learned, regurgitate it, and just like kind of throw it away once you were done learning it. You can't really do that in medical school because, you know, this is information that you're going to need to know for the rest of your life. 
But again, yeah, it feels great. You've kind of finally starting the uh, first stage of your career. And uh, what have you enjoyed most about your time at Seba? So it's going, so, okay, this is just my opinion, but it's going to have to be the friends that I've made, honestly. Um, you're going to make the most diverse friend group that you've ever had while being on this island with people from every state and from Canada as well. And nothing beats blowing off steam after a set of medical school exams by really going out and just enjoying yourself with people who you've felt like you've known for most of your life already. We've only been, I've only been here for four semesters, so I'm an MS2, a second year in medical school, and, I've all, and I feel like most of my friends here on the island, I've known them since I was little. So, yeah. And otherwise, like, everyone go ahead and stop me if there are absolutely any other questions you guys want me to go ahead and, um, and answer. That's totally fine as well. Um, I don't know if most of the people were able to hear me in the beginning when the Q&A started. So I, I think I'll go ahead and like, kind of like reintroduce like my background. So again, like I went to the University of California, Riverside. Um, I spent most of my life in California. Um, and then obviously I came here a couple years back. Um, yeah, other, otherwise I was a psychology major for the first two years of college. I transitioned into neuroscience kind of when I wanted to figure out the biological aspects of the human body rather than just focus on behavior. Um, and you know, over time I kind of realized that medical school is kind of what I wanted to do personally. And in the beginning I thought, you know, I might want to go into research. I might want to get a master's. I might want to get a PhD, but obviously everything changed down the line. And I think that process is very important for most people who want to go into medical school because it's an extremely um, difficult venture, especially here at Seba University. But in the end, you know, it's, it's worth it. It'll be worth it in the end as long as you put in the work. Okay. Okay, so otherwise, I think, I've, I think I've gone ahead and answered most of the common questions that are usually asked. Um, so I don't think that there's too much else unless anyone else wants to ask me anything. Um, but otherwise, I could also talk a little bit about financial aid. Um, unfortunately, I might not be the best to ask questions about that, but all I know is that the financial aid office at Seba University is extremely on point with any help that you may need. They usually answer questions within a day maximum and that's a pretty good thing considering that most of the information that you need for financial aid is extremely time sensitive but i've absolutely never had any issues with that um just remember if you decide to go through the federal if you decide to go through the federal government for loans um just make sure or try getting private loans just go ahead and ask any questions you may have to save a financial aid office from the u.s um and they'll be more than happy to help you with anything that you need, okay? Okay, so um, otherwise, uh, if any of you have any more questions, uh, just go ahead and send an email to the admissions team and they'll get back to you as soon as possible, like they always do. And I look forward to meeting some of you next semester. And um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Thank you all for logging in. I think I'll go ahead and wait another uh, 15, 20 seconds, see if anyone wants to come on and ask any more questions. But if not, I'll go ahead and stop the live session right there. And anyone can go ahead and review any of the information. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and stop the session right there. Thank you all for tuning in, and I hope to see some of you next semester. Thanks.